Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be checking out some must have plugins for Jellyfin. So let's get started. So one of the coolest things about Jellyfin is the ability to install plugins. Now you might find that Jellyfin is a bit lacking in features when it comes to the default installation, but that's where plugins come in to resolve some of that issue. So some of the must have plugins that I install on my Jellyfin are almost like natural to media services like Netflix or even Plex. But with that being said, we're gonna rectify some of that by installing our own plugins to restore some of the features that are basically missing. And honestly, I wish some of them were default on Jellyfin installs as well, but they're not. You do have to install them separately. Anyway, let's jump into the desktop. So here we have my install of Jellyfin. So if you've been following the series, you already know about this, but if you don't, I will leave a link on the top left to the whole series of this Proxmox install. And to get to this area, which is where the plugins are, you just have to go to your dashboard and then head over to plugins over here. Now I do have a lot more than what you would normally see on a default install of Jellyfin. So I will leave all the links down in the description below to where you can get that. Now heading into my repository, you could see I have Jellyfin stable, which comes default. And then I added a bunch of these in here. Now, two main things that I believe should be a must have is Jelly Scrub and Intro Skipper. Those two are just phenomenal. Now, Jelly Scrub in itself is basically allows you to scrub the timeline and you can see little thumbnails. Uh, let me see if I can show you right over here. And basically you could just highlight your mouse over it and it'll show little previews and thumbnails of that little clip. It's basically a must have. Like most services already provide this, even Plex and everything already has this. So that's why I was like, this is, should be a default installation. Now, next we have something called the intro skipper. So if you watch a lot of TV shows or anime, there's MKV files that actually have the section that says intro or uh, end credit scenes and stuff like that. Um, there's a way to skip those by installing this little plugin itself which again, I will leave a link down in the description below. Uh, all it does is just leaves a little skip intro button so you could just skip that. And I think those two are like by far the must haves of any media server because we're so used to it. We're so accustomed to seeing this on everything else like Hulu, Netflix, whatever. So yeah, those are the two that um, I added. The third one that I did add is trailers. I'm a big fan of watching a trailer before I decide to watch the movie so I know what I'm getting myself into. And half the time, if the entire movie is fit into this trailer, then I know I don't have to watch it. So I always have this plugin installed just to see what the trailer is or what the movie's about or whatever it is. Then you have Daniel um, Adov. He has a few plugins that you might find interesting, especially one that's called Merger or Merge which I'll show you in a second. And that allows for, if you have multiple versions of the same video, say like in 1080, then in 720, then in 4K, instead of making three categories for it or three items for it, it'll merge them into one so you can select the version that you wanna watch instead. So that's probably a must have as well uh, in case you run into those issues. Now heading into the catalog itself, you do have a lot more that I didn't install, but you might find interest in which is LDAP if you want to control your users. They also have some single sign-ons if you want for authentication, but yeah, they have LDAP, again, TVD, TMDB, trailers, um, a few other things that they have in here. I didn't even install merge version yet, but I will be doing that a little bit later. But yeah, this is the merge version. We have theme songs if you want. A huge one that a lot of people use is uh, this one, Track. And this allows you to sync between media. So if you're watching something off Plex and then you're watching off something here and you're halfway through the episode in Plex, it'll actually transfer that data over to your um, Jellyfin so you won't lose the progress of how much you watched. So a lot of people use this one as well. And uh, playback reporting, if you wanna know where your session's at and what people watch off your server and stuff like that. So those are the, couple, the few that I don't really run but you can run just to uh, keep everything more seamless. Uh, there's skin manager, so if you wanna change the theme or the look of your actual Jellyfin, uh, you could do that as well. Uh, down in the metadata stuff, I do use AnimeDB or AnyDB. I've used AnyList before, they both work very well. I've actually never used AnySearch. That, I assume that that will work well too. Um, and then we're down to notifications. Now there are a few other types of notifications other than just webhook. They have SMS and a few other things that you could add on. Now heading into Jellyfin's official website for plugins. 
Um, again, everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. Um, here they actually go by how you can manually install stuff. But if you look through all here, they'll actually give you a quick description of what certain things are that they have with the official uh, library. And if you go down a little bit more, you have a third party plugin and it'll have all these other stuff on what you can do for the third party. So you have last FM skin manager, a few others. Then they give you the repo, which is this, which this is where you would actually grab and head over to plugin and go into repositories and press the add button. Uh, you would add that to get the third party repos and everything. So like here, single sign on plugin, if you want, um, Daniel Adov has a few others like theme songs, skin manager. If you need SMS notifications, um, a few. And this is not even a complete list. There's actually a lot more out there that is not even in this list. So if I head over to like Jelly Scrub, that's not in this list. And this is almost a must have. Then we have over here, which is uh, TMDB trailers. That's also not in the official list. So if you guys know of any um, Jellyfin plugins that are actually not in that list or it's stuff that you must use, let me know down in the description below because, because there's a lot more plugins like TV plugins, sports plugins, stuff like that that's actually not in this list at all that you could possibly find anywhere. Again, this is a Daniel Adolph's version. Now I did find a little repo called Awesome Jellyfin that kind of goes down a few more plugins that it's not listed over here that you can uh, check out, which again, link down in the description below. And you could go through the list that he has over here if you want to check it out. A lot of these plugins that I find are just a simple matter of Googling what I want or just Googling uh, Jellyfin plugins and seeing what's available. But I don't really play uh, too much into the plugins other than just the main ones like Jelly Scrub and um, Intro Skipper. Those are the two that I generally install and then the TMDB trailers. So this basically allows you to customize your Jellyfin the way you want it to work. Uh, some other ones that I didn't mention might be like subtitles and stuff like that. That would be good. But if you have another program called Bazaar, that could grab uh, subtitles for you. So it really depends on how you navigate your server. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do on Jellyfin that makes it a lot more valuable. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that you can do with Jellyfin, especially on the plugin side. If you guys have more plugins that is not on this list that you think is a must have, list it down in the description below because it's something I want to check out as well. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.